If you're new to options, you might be asking you know, that simple question, what is an option? Well, this module is all about answering that question, really introducing you to options trading and laying the foundation and the framework by understanding the mechanics of how an option contract is traded. We'll also go over the important option trading terms that you must learn to really effectively trade options and understand how they work. You'll learn the difference between an in the money, an at the money, and an out of the money option, and how you really differentiate between the three of those different types. You're also gonna learn how to choose the right strike price. You're gonna understand intrinsic versus extrinsic value. And really, to kind of close out the module, we're gonna go over an in-depth review of all the risks of trading options. Because before you have any benefit, which we'll also talk about, you have to understand the risks. So this is gonna be a very powerful module to lay the foundation for options. I'm excited to teach you this, so let's jump right in. It's important to understand that every option trading strategy is made up of a put or a call. Those are the only two types of options that exist in the marketplace. And each option, whether it's call or put, is standardized to 100 shares of stock. It's not a zero sum game, meaning you can buy an option from somebody and they can have something that's completely separate and hedged and all these different strategies with options because they're so multi-dimensional that it's not like when you buy stock from someone, some person loses money and one person makes money. With options, it's a win-win situation. It's not a zero-sum game and it's a great way to trade and I love it. So call option, it's a contract that gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to buy 100 shares of stock on or before the expiration date at the purchase strike price. So it's important you understand that these contracts, they are contractual agreements and they're derived from these rules and these, these definitions that can help you understand your risks when you go into this. You can sell a call option well before expiration for profit or loss depending on your trading plan. You don't have to hold these to expiration. With European options, that's different. All the strategies and the examples and a majority of you that are coming into this program, you're gonna be trading American style options on a lot of the American exchanges with American stocks. So on the flip side, you have the put option. And this is a contract that gives the buyer the right but not the obligation to sell 100 shares of stock on or before the expiration date at the purchase strike price. I get excited about it because I know the power. I've been doing this for a long time and I know how it can enhance not only your capital preservation and your overall risk management, but it's going to give you a higher degree of compound wealth building by having these options that can grow in your favor very fast. Options work on things like stocks, they work on indexes, ETFs, futures, and even bonds. The option exchanges, just like the stock market exchanges, you have the CBOE, that's where options were born. And this is something that's also regulated by the SEC and there's other regulatory agencies that are involved. So whenever you're trading options, you are protected. They're heavily traded, heavily liquid. A lot of the top securities that are listed in the market, a majority of the volume that's traded on these large companies are through the options because of the leverage that they provide the traders and the investors. Then index options are, they're not stocks. They're going to be those indexes that you learned about in module one. You can actually trade options on those indexes, which is a great way to trade it. A lot of professional traders only trade index options because it's a more simplified approach. It's very liquid, heavily traded, sometimes more advanced, so you have to be careful. An equity option is when you buy an option on a stock. So you have an equity, whether it's an underlying blue chip stock or an IPO, whatever the security is, you have a stock. Equity options is pertaining and, and referring to those stock options. You buy an option just like when you're buying a stock. You buy to open. And then to sell an option, you're going to sell to close. Now you can put on trades like selling to open an option. That's perfectly fine and that's something that we'll be talking about later. But just remember that that the core framework of buying to open and selling to close holds true when you buy a call or you buy a put. Option assignment is a very important part of options because it can happen. It's happened to me. It will probably happen to you if you get active with this because it's part of the business. It's not for you to worry about. You need to understand some of the risks that come with that and what happens. There's some things that you can do to avoid getting assigned. I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do that. When do options expire? Well, you have index and you have equity options. Stock options or equity options, they expire the third Friday of the month. And then index options expire the third Thursday of the month. And ETFs are not considered index options. ETFs are considered equity options because
because they trade just like stocks. The mathematical core of this business are your debits and credits. So this is something that will hold true and carry forward when we're trading options, whether you're buying calls, buying puts, selling calls, selling puts, everything's gonna be either a debit or credit as your margin or your buying power requirement. I wanna talk to you about the five levels of trading options. Level one is known as covered call writing. Level two is when you can buy a call or buy a put. I recommend you get at least to level three because level three is gonna be where you can actually allocate the fine risk trades. A lot of the strategies inside this program are gonna fall inside level three. Level four is when you can sell naked options. Level four, I feel is very important as well because a lot of people, including myself, if you wanna buy a stock, why don't you get paid to buy it? Why don't you get paid to own it? The way that you get paid to own stock is by selling a put option. Level five is the riskiest. This is selling naked index options, which is really advanced for more institutional traders or professional traders that need to manage their Greeks perhaps by doing these more advanced, undefined risk naked index Index option trades. The first term you're gonna learn here is open interest. Second one here is volume, expiration, strike prices, bid price, ask price, and then we have the lot size, the fill price, then net change, and then we have the percentage change. You can trade options in a retirement account. You can maximize your trading dollar with more powerful leverage. You can capitalize on the stock's price movement up or down at a much higher rate with that gamma by owning the option over the stock. You don't have to exercise an option contract to profit from it. Conservative and aggressive strategies are available on all options. Also, there's a very low overhead to trade options. Your actual costs only consists of high-speed internet connection and your commissions. Options cost a fraction of the cost in buying the stock, and movements in the stock are reflected in the gain of the option. The risk of losing your entire investment increases as the option goes further away. European-style options, which do not have secondary markets on which to sell the options prior to expiration, can only realize its value upon expiration. There's specific exercise provisions of an option contract that may create risks. Now, the risks pertaining to option sellers consist of, number one, options sold may be exercised at any time before expiration by the buyer's discretion. Sellers of a naked call risk unlimited losses if the underlying stock rises. Sellers of a naked put risk significant losses if the underlying stock drops. Sellers of naked positions run margin risks if the position goes into significant losses. Sellers of call options can lose more money than a short seller of that stock on the same rise because there's the gamma risk. Sellers of stock options are obligated under the terms of the option contract to deliver the option they sold even if a trading market is not available or even if they're unable to perform a closing transaction. Option markets or exchanges have the right to halt the trading of any options, thus preventing investors or traders from realizing value in very rare instances. Just know that I'm here for you if you ever need help. I want to make sure that you understand these risks because a lot of times they can be prevented when you just educate yourself thoroughly and prevent these things from happening. Happening.